Hey everybody, Nullface here in Eternal Evolution. A uh, couple things on the docket this morning. We're going to take a look at the new formation system uh, and then do a whole bunch of pulls for Rickert. Uh, I've been hearing really good things about this guy, what he's doing for both uh, Roulette of Truth, uh, Terra Dome, which I guess can always be faster, uh, and specifically in the Guild Hunt. Also, uh, shout out to the Guild, Black Rose, uh, downing boss, uh, Guild Hunt boss 12 for the first time last night. So awesome job to everyone there. I'm trying to get... Uh, get the, the push going a little bit more. So let's start with the uh, formation tier. I have not looked at this yet, so I'll be confused along with everybody else. Uh, I guess we'll start with the team that I use basically everywhere for everything, because it's just a little bit too good. Uh, Surveilly and Maserani. And goes to Hagridon. How many of these we can have? That would be one. Uh, let's see. What other teams would I use? I wonder if we can use this for arena teams too. Could set up my summoner arena team in here and see where it where it works, where we can use formations. Uh Surveilly and that one. There's another OISA in here somewhere. There we go. On this guy. Running the stun, and whatever over here for stats. Uh, running this one, I believe. Okay, so that's two formations. Let's see what we can do with those. Uh, I'm really thinking I'll use them for my guild hunt teams once I solidify those a little bit more. That'll be a, a great use. And also try to go back through Twilight uh, and pick out the lineups I use for each of those and see how those work. But We'll just take a real quick look here. If we go into the Roulette of Truth, go in here. Yeah. That is an amazing feature. Very simple to use and will be so helpful and really does help uh, cut down on the time spent doing the stuff that we don't want to do, namely switching all those things around because everybody has, what, three or four teams that they use most places uh, and even sometimes for me, just trying to remember which one was better last time, uh, this will help with that. I can always just update the team when I get a better result with another one. For example, I was doing Spider uh, Spider 10, I think, the other day, and uh, of course, I could always do the summoner started to do more damage, so I'm switching up my Spider team a little bit now. So I'll just be able to go through set those up. That'll be a really, really great improvement. Love to see the QOL coming out. So with that, uh, let's get into the summoning. I do have a uh, record at Epic already. Uh, got a copy of him from Gumitso's Bell. So just pull in to see what else we can get here. Now that we have Giant's Tower open and the recruitment event is on, let's see how it goes. Uh, this guy definitely does pull some nutty, just absolutely crazy damage numbers. Uh, seen in Atlas Whale and a lot of the dungeons, uh, places like that. Any, any single target fight, basically. Uh, I think if you haven't already cleared through Ancient Altar, you'd be really great in there, too. Lots of damage, but you do need to pair him up with another assassin, uh, unless you build him lower, or uh, unless you build him higher crit rate. Purple here. Okay. Yeah, you're you're still not good. Because uh, he leeches half of the other assassin's crit rate. Often see him paired up with three other assassins, that might be a bit overkill. I don't know, I'm going to try with, with fewer. Because uh, really, Bailey's the only other assassin that does significant damage. Uh, bot mark, alright. I think he... I think I just maxed my bot mark the other day. Bailey is obviously a fantastic pairing with him. Uh, Rakana does, does decent damage, can. Uh, a lot more bursty though, 
So in the, the PvE kind of fights, the burst damage isn't necessarily what you're looking for. So I'll have to play around with that a little bit and figure out who's the best. Uh, if, if Randall can actually do alright in the guild hunt, and then throw in you know, a fourth hero like Emma or something like that for, for damage. More blues. I think this is I think this is a sixtieth here, so we should get the pity copy. Let it run through just to just to be sure. He does have a really cool intro though, I gotta say. All right, now just need you know a whole bunch more of those. Uh, I do have a few gene hybrids laying around, and I'll I'll definitely toss a few in there. Uh, we'll see. I'll probably pull enough to grab the copies of Leo from Giant's Tower, and in fact, since we've hit pity here, I'm going to swap over. We're going to do the pulls on Leo, and then we're going to come back. 60 here. Uh, and then I guess any any bonuses along the way too. On this one. Uh, now Leo's been been great. He was my second uh, summit 120. So just boosting him up is. Uh, he's just still so good. Like it, it doesn't even matter what the content is. Uh, if you if you need a tank, he's he's amazing. Now, if you need an actual tank, or the tank class, then um, then you're kind of out of luck. But if you just need someone to soak damage, Leo's so good at it. Uh, so a few more copies of him. Get him boosted up the immortal ranks a little bit. Definitely won't turn that down. Uh, I'll try to kind of gauge my uh, my ticket spending in Giant's Tower based on whether I get another copy of him here. Uh, if I just get one, since I will need to pull quite a few for Rickert, uh, I'll probably go ahead and grab all three from there. I don't. I was talking with the guild last night. I actually don't know what the cost is on the third tier. I've never unlocked it, but we'll find out together. I was not paying attention to where I was when I started with this, so we'll all be surprised when we get the Leo. Well, you all probably won't. You're paying more attention than I am at this point. Not this one. It's probably the next one. I think it's the next one. What are we gonna get? Purple? Okay, yeah, I think this is the Leo one. Yep, there's Leo. Cool. To confirm, that was, yes, that was the pity copy of Leo. Alright, I'm gonna go do some more pulls here until, uh, uh, until the inventory fills up, and then I'll go clean up heroes, and we'll see how far I've gotten through Giant's Tower. I uh, would like to get, ideally, I think, three more copies. We put it in a decent place where I don't have to use all my hybrids on them. It's just, you know, feels bad to to drop all of your saved resources into into a hero. Purple. All right. Let's see what we get here. I mean, that, on the other hand, that is what they're there for, right? But I always like to have some stuff banked up. Oh, okay. Good, good. Oh, and a Mooka. Cool. Maybe they'll buff him someday. Ah. Uh. 
It, it would be nice if they did, the the summoner groups. I, I, I've seen them used as a full tank, right? There are a couple of arena teams that, that do that. And I've personally been preferring a, an actual tank with more CC up front. Uh, I, I know his little wolves exploding can, can do some work, though. And him jumping around can be somewhat disruptive if you build him super tanky. He can actually survive in a PvP environment. Okay, he's good. Could work as well. Oh, and there we go. Alright, I'll clear up some space and I'll be right back. Alright, and just checking in in Giant's Tower. Uh, we're at 170, I think the second one. So if I were to go ahead and get this one, we're going to be just a little bit short. Uh, yeah, because he needs 100 for that one and then 120 spent on this floor to unlock this. So. We'll go get back to doing some more summoning here. All right, need some more record copies. Uh, I went ahead and got him up. He's you know, uh, Mythic Zero right now. That's, uh, hopefully it looks like I get him up a, a few more levels. Uh, I do still have six hybrids with the new one from, uh, from the Leo banner this week. been seeing uh, more assassin teams cropping up in the arena. They do seem still to be fairly countered by the, well, by summoner team, of course. Uh, they have a habit of targeting some summons in there, uh, which, of course, if there's Anbu around, just involves them things exploding, a corpse exploding on them uh, when they go for the low health targets. But uh, Vanguard teams, it, it's a mix. I've, typically won most of the matches going in with Vanguard teams against them, but every now and then uh, Rickard's immunities will outlast Leo's immunity, and that uh, that gets Leo killed. Uh, it's kind of the, the win condition there. Uh, so it's just about Mark. Nobody hiding in the back. But I haven't found a Again, obviously not not a PvP player, but I haven't found a great spot where I'm like, oh, this is the team that an assassin uh, arena team will counter. I'm sure it exists, or there's just another uh, combination of heroes that that enables it a little bit more, or maybe we're waiting for the assassin enabler to come out. But the new commander seems predominantly geared towards PVE. Uh, Damage bonuses are great there, but in PvP, I think you're still going to want the shielding from either uh, Gautier or Hagridon. Purple, alright. Give me a record here. Nope, that's not one. That's a bot mark. Let's just build up the bot mark copies now. I hope I don't have to spend all my tickets here. I do. Not the end of the world. I'll pick up a bunch more from uh, alternate events throughout the week, I'm sure. Yeah, we should have uh, uh, two new heroes. Yeah, launching. Got a, got a full week, though. If the trend continues, at least. I have a new hero. Or an entirely, sorry, two new banners, an entirely new hero, uh, and then whatever secondary banner goes along with it. Right, show me some purple here. Show me another record. It's been a bit. Been waiting. All right. Record? Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, I'm gonna pull down to, well, I guess, whenever the, uh, whenever my uh, inventory runs out again, and then we'll kind of re-examine at that point. Or another record, whichever comes first. I really should have been keeping closer track of the tickets. Yeah, I'll, I'll have plenty into Giant's Tower, though. Uh, this will be. This is some of the most that I pulled for a single hero, honestly. Uh, I think we'll be up 240 here in another pull. 
I guess it's pretty similar to a few others. Okay, another purple here. And a bot mark. Thank you for being early in the rotation. Saving us the wait. Alright, what have we got here? Anything? Anything? Alright, more purple. Don't be a Mooka. Don't be Mooka. Okay, what are you? Come on. Oh, you're Mooka. Go all the way in the left. Oh, that's just, that's just rude. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go clear more space. And we'll be back again. All right, so here in Giant's Tower with a little bit more space, we'll go ahead and pick up our next Leo copy. And we need to consume 120 chips to unlock the last one. I'm probably going to pull a few more, so I may as well go ahead and do that and get 130 left, right? I, I think both of these, honestly, to me, are a little bit overpriced, but I am short more on Rubelite at the moment. So I'm going to buy 16 of these and then... One of these four four limiteds for one of those is pretty expensive but 120 all right so 10 more that would have enough to do that and then just checking on the recruitment event we're currently at uh, 375 so at the very least uh, i'm gonna go pull another i guess 120 and get up to the triple s selection pack here and then Come back and get the last last little bit here. Hopefully get another uh, record copy in there. So we're going to pull down to 80 tickets left. All right, hope for some good luck in here. Uh, would, would really be nice to just get this guy evoed up. And, okay, purple. Maybe we're off to a good start. Uh, Whale is my weakest guild hunt boss by far. For some reason, no matter what I do, uh, I just can't get great damage in there. I get decent, you know, maybe slightly above average. Oh, Mooka, again. I, I told you. Go away. Uh, decent damage in there, but hopefully this uh, strat is, is a little simpler with the assassins and maybe simple enough that I can pull it off. I swear, I've tried everything else and I just, I can't get another uh, damage round in while the shield is down. So, I've been trying a bunch of different options when to do the alt. So, uh, thought mark on this one. All right. The assassin one seems pretty straightforward, so we'll give it a shot. Plus, I already have a, a decently geared Bailey. May have to adjust a little bit here. Uh, he's more on the PvP side with the attack gloves than uh, PvE, which is typically where he's he's used most. We'll see, you'll be fun. It'll be fun to have another comp to try out some heroes, some new combinations. Lose. Not lose, you're not what I want. Okay, show me some purple. Purple, purple, purple. Purple, good start. I've seen the other two. This one, it's Mooka. Why is it always okay? Disappointed. Okay, you, you, you can be Rickard though, right? This time around? Nope, <laughs> that's, that's blue. I mean, Rickard is very blue, but not in that way. 50 more. Uh, okay. Okay, there's hope. I really hope. Okay, well, again, Bot Mark, at least thank you for coming early in the poll. Just killing that hope right away. A hmm. little, little rough on the polls this morning. Uh, hopefully, this is a record that'll make up for it. I kind of already got... <laughs> uh, it's always when you start to complain, right? <laughs> awesome. Alright, so record there. And we've got 40 more. Say 40 or, or one more record copy. I could 
I could pull some advanced to make up the difference. To get up to that 500 level. Let's see, what have we got here? Is this... Could it be? Could it be? <laughs> it is. Alright, all the luck right at the end here. Awesome. So awesome. 16. So let's go make sure I hit all the right breakpoints. Uh, we're going to go over to Giant Tower. Yeah, I've got plenty here. So I'll pick up Leo. That'll be Immortal 2 Leo. 80 left. I'll figure out where to spend them later. I'm leaning towards probably similar to before, either more Rubelite, maybe a couple of runes, but I, I, I always want the red runes, but it's just not probably the right thing. I'm good on Hero EXP though, it's it's Rubelite that's holding me up, so either that or I may just go for the resource pack. We'll see. Uh, here we need to do 35 advance tickets to pick up that, which will be just fine. And we'll go take a look at the state of everyone's evolution. Here. All right, yep, this will get him to Legendary 2, and I'll just drop a few hybrids in to get him up to Immortal. And there we go. All right, I'll have to, to double check his gearing and probably make a video on that once I get, uh, get everything there, but also four copies of Leo. This will make Leo my highest evolution hero period. Uh, I don't have any other Immortal 2s uh, that are triple S at least. I'm gonna do it, That'll he's a pretty good one. And hey, let's max Mooka because Mooka copies everywhere. Luna, all right, occasionally useful Paluna. All right, I think I've uh, gone on for quite a while already. That was a lot of pulls. Uh, thank you all for bearing with me. Hope you uh, enjoyed the the roller coaster ride. That was uh, those. Uh, what did we end at? Those four hundred tickets uh, pulled between Rickert and and Leo. That was uh, quite a bit of saving there. So. Uh, again, thanks for watching and take care.